crocheting was like 12 years ago in New York, people were laughing at me. They were like, what do you mean you're young, you're crocheting? It's for grandmas. But what happened, I transformed the style into something new and hip and sexy. And also, you know, it's an idea for crocheters, but for everybody to, to find your own, um, your own inspiration or something and find something new in what you're doing and develop your own style. This is very important. The meaning varies from project to project, if it's street art, public project, gallery settings, museum settings. But the colors tend to stay the same. So I mean, I love this whole installation here, you know, it's like I really put my heart into it. And uh, this was, in a way, for me, the beginning of everything else that starts in, the, in this room. That's why it's close to my heart, because uh, you start with one small item and the small item brings you to, to a new uh, kind of, you know, development of idea. I, I think it's very important when I travel, I, I first, I bring my own work, I bring my own acrylic yarn from the United States, but as well I try to find local materials here. And when I saw these gold ribbons, I was like a kid in a candy store. I was like, I want this, I want this, I want this, and like end up buying like half the store. So they're gold ribbons, you know, like the, the grapes, for example, the glasses, you know, everything here, the chandelier was made here. All those objects were made here in Hong Kong. I get a new identity, I get them hope, I get them new beginning, you know, new life. And that's really how it started. If you tell me it means happiness, probably it means happiness, I hope so. But even if I bring a simple smile on people's face, I think I accomplished something as an artist.